what is up everybody welcome back to another episode of ford era and today you got me solomon here and as you can see i've got a 1962 f100 unibody behind me and uh i'm not by my house i'm actually in orlando my family and i went on a little vacation for the weekend and uh i actually bought this truck right over here about uh about a year ago from kyle delfel out in washington and it was a really clean truck and i actually only bought it because i needed to take parts for my b100 so i'm going to be taking the doors the hood fenders the whole front clip and then i'm even going to take the chassis and motor for right now because it's a really really clean truck uh everything on it is super nice I mean, look at this grill just no dings or dents just perfect condition and um because i was in orlando the transport guy dropped it off here instead of miami because i didn't have anybody to take delivery of it in miami so now i got to drive about 200 miles on the highway with this truck that I've never driven before. I took it around the block yesterday once, but that's about it. And uh, I brought plates from one of my other trucks, which also happens to be a 62 unibody. So at least I got that and aired up the tires, but these tires are old school tube tires. And the wheels, as you guys can see, are uh, two piece wheels. And the tires are kind of dry rotted. So it's gonna be interesting for sure. I mean, so it's kind of early, it's about 8 a.m. I'm hoping that because we're leaving early, the roads are still gonna be kind of cold and uh, the weather's supposed to get up to like 90 degrees today. So it's not gonna be too much fun, but figured I'd show you guys the truck. It's pretty cool. Um, everything works on it, which is nice. The interior is pretty clean. I don't know how the seat looks underneath that. I'm assuming it's nice, but it might have a couple tears. But the truck is really clean. It's got rust right where every unibody does, right over here because they didn't have a good drain pan. And then I actually have like two more trucks and a ton of parts that Kyle put in the back of it for me that I will show you guys when we get back to Miami. I'm gonna unload all of it and uh, that's it. It's a pretty awesome truck. It's actually a shame that the nicest running truck aside from Gold, that's the nicest original running truck that I ever had. Um, it's just my parts truck. So I went to Walmart last night to get some road trip necessities and uh gonna go make sure that all the fluids are good so i got some coolant always want to top that off uh on the 292 y blocks i like to run 15w50 mobile one uh i think it's really good it's got a lot of zinc which a lot of the stuff they removed the zbtp additive but that's good rain x just in case the wipers don't work i don't know if they do a little towel five gallon jug gotta have that new car scent uh mirror little blind spot things a lug wrench so we should be good to go gonna get the family loaded the wife's gonna be following me in her minivan and uh that's it so we'll catch you guys on the road wish me luck Just did the first trip trip. It was about six miles over to the gas station. Fueled her up and uh, I noticed some coolant leaking. And uh, I'm hoping that it was, I didn't put the cap on correctly, but we'll find out. I'm gonna start it up and let it run for a little bit, see if any more leaks come out. Hope there's no hole in the radiator. That would really uh, put a damper on the day. Uh, especially because the truck's been running good. Like, uh, had no issues. It was fairly smooth going down the road. I mean best you can expect with these tires but uh so far so good and uh just filled up put 20 gallons in and filled up my five gallon jug so uh i'll let you guys know in the next clip what up all right so all the fluids checked out uh, i think it was the radiator cap because it, i i took it off and now that i put it back on everything's fine i don't see any leaking the truck's been running for about five minutes uh, something that i thought was really cool is all the gauges work so the speedometer was working before and i'll show you guys again when we're driving but I filled up the tank and it's full. I'm assuming that the, that the temperature works because before it was at nothing and then it was up to 180, now it's down to 160. So that's pretty cool. 
I'm uh, gonna hit the road and uh, pick you guys back up if anything happens. If not, you'll just see some montages of the road. See you in the next clip. So we just got over here to the first fuel stop. We are about 107 miles from home. So we're a little bit more than halfway there. And uh, we got my wife following behind. So just fueled up, gave the kids a little stretch so they don't have to sit in the car seat for so long. It's been a couple hours and uh, checked over the truck. Everything's looking good. Honestly, so, so surprised by how good this truck is. And uh, everything's going great. I'm just, uh, paying attention to you know all the vitals that I could see at least which isn't a ton so we will see you guys in the next clip all right so just made it to Hollywood Florida about 20 minutes from my house stopped to come get some dinner with the family truck made it no problem at all just kept my eyes on the gauges and that's it filled it up with fuel made sure the pressures were good yesterday and uh, that's that so I'm gonna go grab some dinner with the family and then I'm gonna hit the shop so we'll see you when I'm at the shop all right this is Florida Man Customs live and uh, we got board over here Solomon that made it So, made it over here to the shop. Now we got unibodies on unibodies. So I'm gonna chill for a second, and then we're gonna unload this bad boy, and I'll show you guys what we got. Just unloaded all this stuff, took about 20 minutes. I honestly don't know how Kyle fit everything in here. Do you guys think this would all fit? No. Nope. So we got two unibody doors, two fenders, back end, one Mercury tailgate, unibody, slick side, dense side, unibody, but new one, dense side, unibody, slick, bump, bump, bump. There's another whole front end to a unibody, a hood, core support, inner fenders and then quarter panels. So, whole bunch of stuff. I'm dying over here, gonna grab a drink, and then we're gonna take this topper off, so we'll see you guys. All right, so I'm gonna leave the topper on for now, just because I don't have anywhere to put it. But uh, finished up here at the shop, gonna head to my house, see you guys there. All right, so we're here. Just made it to my house. What a fun day. Black sheep over there. Freaking unibodies everywhere today. So, uh, what can I say? This truck is awesome. Kyle, thank you so much for selling it to me. It was exactly as described. I'm still shocked that you were able to fit all that stuff in here. I forgot how much stuff I've been buying from you lately. But uh, anyway, video's over. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a really fun time driving this down today. Another adventure checked off the list. Uh, it was about 220 to 250 miles, somewhere around there. And uh, that's it. As always, if you guys like the video, consider giving us a thumbs up. It really helps us. Got any questions, comments, just want to say what's up, please drop a comment below. It really helps us in the rankings. If you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel. If you like cool merch like this or hats, stickers, all that kind of stuff, head over to FordEra.com. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Will Solomon, would you like to say anything to the camera? Yeah. Bridget batteries die really fast. <laughs>
so got the tonneau off no big damage just a couple scrapes but I'm not really using the quarter panels Zach how heavy you think it is probably 100 pounds that's not bad wow this looks better all right I'm gonna rest for a second <laughs> 